visiting Japan has been a dream. My expectations have been completely met and overwhelmed. I just can't believe how much I've been enjoying Japan. It was the combination of the modernization along with the temples and the shrines and then the historical places. Every day we kind of got to experience both sides. We have seen so much of Japan in such a short period of time. This has been an amazingly wonderful trip. I did notice a difference in tone. Tokyo, very businesslike and Osaka, a lot of fun, a lot of food, terrific food. And Kyoto, a, a more stately, a more sort of oldie worldy sort of experience. And having different experiences in each city, it was really amazing. Tasting new kinds of food has been amazing. Excellent, fresh seafood. And how polite the people are, you know, to go out of the way to make your uh, trip so special. I mean, that's the most striking thing. Welcome to Japan! This tour of Japan begins in the fascinating capital, Tokyo. From here, we board a bullet train to charming and fun Osaka. An optional excursion takes us to the Peace Memorial Historical Site in Hiroshima and to Miyajima Island, where we'll see the iconic Tori Gate. Then we conclude our journey in beautiful Kyoto, famous for its temples, gardens, and palaces. Tokyo City, you know, the hustle and bustle, it was amazing. I did not expect the number of people in Tokyo. It was incredible. I mean, I haven't seen the size of the zebra crossing so big anywhere in the world. You can enjoy the whole big city atmosphere at the same time that you will see the history and the culture, the very Japanese tradition. You can be in the middle of a huge city and yet find a beautiful place of serenity. It's lovely. Fuji was one of our special moments because the clouds parted and it was exciting and beautiful. Mount Fuji, the beautiful, magical, mystical mountain. Hakone is a national park that's also of a hot spring. Japan is well known for good quality hot spring. Then the people can enjoy the cruise of the beautiful Lake Ashi. So Japan is not only about the big city, but then also the green and the beautiful lake and also fresh air. Going on the bullet train was fantastic. Going through uh, the station in Tokyo, getting on the bullet train, and then seeing uh, the Japanese landscape move past us, you know, at 200 some miles an hour was pretty um, incredible. And then we ended up in Osaka, which was fantastic. We got to see the Osaka Castle. The Corman Market was, for me, the highlight of this whole entire trip. It was alive, it was colorful, it was everything you would want on a vacation. Dotenbori Street in Osaka was uh, quite a scene. Food, people watching, shopping, exciting. It was Bourbon Street on steroids. Growing up, I used to see images of the Tori Gate, and it has been a wish of mine to go physically see it. And as a ferry approaches that, I'm saying, okay, I'm here now. <laughs> and it was awesome. Everybody in the world name of the city Hiroshima because of the 1945 atomic bomb. Hiroshima was very emotional to me. It was just an incredible place. But I think necessary for everybody to see. And that was just um, incredible. I was most touched by the approach it took it as much as anything. Let's make sure this never happens again. So then this ancient capital Kyoto, it is big city, but then still if you go one or two block behind that big city, then there is an old traditional townhouses here. Those five-story pagoda, beautiful temples and beautiful Japanese garden is still preserved. I loved the golden pavilion. It's golden and it's beautiful and serene. It was great. Going to Nara was one of the highlights of the trip. The giant Buddha is breathtaking, it is huge and all of the deer and the school children 
really was quite an experience. I love all those lanterns, thousands of gold and bronze lanterns. I have truly enjoyed every single day of this trip. I got to tell you, this is the way to go. The tour has been great, so well organized, so much information. I haven't had to worry about a thing. This is our sixth trip, and we have a couple more already scheduled. We took our first trip with Gate 1, and we haven't even looked anywhere else. We can count on them. Nobody can beat the prices that Gate 1 gives us. That is the number one. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's tremendous value. The hotels are four and five star hotels. We were always close to public transportation, so we were able to access that during our free time and see even more of the city. The food has been amazing, tasting new kinds of food. Everything is just done almost to perfection. Obviously the guide was spectacular, a lot of fun. She certainly knew her stuff and certainly took very good care of us. She sings to us on the bus. <laughs> That's very fun. She gave lots of day-to-day -day life experience and the culture of Japan. She kept us entertained and informed. And the origami that we did of the cranes, that was really nice. We enjoyed it. Getting to know some of the people on the trip is always a good component of, of Gate One. We meet a lot of good friends. Everyone is so friendly and just fun to be with. Definitely, that's how you do it, Gate One. It is such a beautiful, warm, welcoming, happy country. It is just wonderful. And Gate One made this the best experience. Please come to visit my country, Japan, with Gate One. There's so many things that you cannot experience unless you come here. Food and culture and history and shopping. Come to Japan, I'm looking forward to meeting you. Thank you.